Hello and welcome to the next chapter of Lee's Logbook. I'm Lee, and this is our Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke on the last episode, you guys. Batch number four. Yes. Badge number four, which was actually badge number three, but badge number three was badge number five. Oh no. What happened to my badges? They're so dirty. They're so dirty and I'm so distracted by this right now because I can't help but have OCD at the fact that <laughs> they're dirty. <laughs> Just, okay, and then, and then this one, and then this one. Come on. There we go. There we go. Just, just, it, it, okay, cool. Um, anyway, other than my OCD, um, we have to start on a bit of a somber note before we have a team recap. Um, or honestly, we can have a team recap now, but of course, even though Spoopy is fully healed, he did fall in the last episode, so we no longer have Spoopy. We'll get to that in a second. So front in the squad, we have Pines, holding the Quick Claw, Feint Attack, Block, Rock Throw, Low Kick, Blaze, Cut, Double Kick, Peck, Ember, Aerial, Water Sport, Recover, Water Pulse, Twister, I need to get rid of that experience share now and give her something else, Terra, Expert Belt, Mud Shot, Slash, Rock Smash, Ancient Power, Flash, Quick Attack, Tackle, Thunder Shock, Sand, Attack. So, first things first, let's take this. No, no. Let's take the dread plate. Oh, let's go to the PC. Oh, spoopy. You didn't even get to evolve. I'm so sorry. Moment of silence for the spoops. All right, so now we have to figure out who we're putting on the squad. And I actually have been thinking about it, and as much as I wanna bring Shine back, because I do, I really do wanna bring Shine back, I miss Shine, I think it might be a better idea to bring in Cacnea, to bring in a grass type because we need a grass type. Having a grass type would be really nice to balance out some of our weaknesses. So, I think we're gonna bring Cactuar onto the squad. She is a little level 20 Cacnea, so she needs the experience share now. Although, does, it have, does she have Sand Veil? Was that her ability? Because we don't use sand, we use the sun, but. Yeah, Sandville. All right, so we won't be using a sand, you know, any anything that has, like, Sandstorm or anything like that, but that's fine. Item, we're going to take the experience share. We'll give the experience share to Cactuar. Um, ooh, what do we want to give Melodic? What do we want to give Ariel? Do we have anything that ups uh, water-type moves? Water type moves, water type moves. Huh. We have ice type moves. Um, maybe we should give her like shell bell so that she can try to heal herself a little bit. No, she has recover. She doesn't need She doesn't need healing? What am I talking about? Um I I thought we had something, but I guess not. All right, so for now, we won't bother. Although, before we do anything, I feel like I should probably take this... Where is it? 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 Aurora Beam or Blizzard. I think Aurora Beam first. We might teach uh, Blizzard to Ariel later, but for now, or Terra can learn Aurora Beam? That's crazy. Um, but we won't worry about that. Uh, we're gonna take out Water Sport and give you Aurora Beam so that you have an Ice-type move. 
um, which I think it'll just be nice for you to have. Um, do we have any good, like, no, we don't have any good grass type moves or anything like that for Cactuar. Cactuar, what moves do you have at the moment, actually? I don't even know if I checked you out. Absorb, Growth, Leech Seed, Sand Attack. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so in this episode, uh, we're going to go help Dawn because her Pokedex got stolen by these rapscallions, and they're apparently in front of a warehouse. Is the warehouse back here? This isn't a warehouse. No, this is the HQ. Yeah, this is the Vealstone building. Um, so the warehouse is... Oh, wait. I think I get to the warehouse from the front. From the front! Hold on. Let's ride our bike there. Yeah! Super fast. Okay. We're here, Don. Let's do it. Hi, Lee. Please, can you help me? Do you remember Team Galactic, these horrible people? They tried to steal Professor Rowan's research results in Jubilife, remember? I ran into them, and they took away my Pokedex. Please, I need your help. Team up and battle with me. Let's do it. You and your Pokemon together with me and my Pokemon. United like this, our dream team has no chance of losing. I'm not letting those bad people get away with their dirty deeds. All right. Fair enough. We won't allow these bad people to get, get away with it. Clerk Florentino and Clerk Jill... Prepare yourselves, Glaceon and Shroomish. Uh, who do I have in front? Pines? Uh, hmm. 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 Am I too afraid of that Shroomish to stay in? Actually, what? Hmm, no. I'm gonna throw a rock at the Glaceon who's helping handing the shroomish. That, I don't like that. Quick Claw, Pines coming through. How much we got? Wow. Cast form, Powder Snow? I mean, I guess it's super effective against the shroomish, but like, oh no! Was that me? I think that was me. Pines! Oh. Okay, that's not too bad. And that was with helping hand. Jeez. Uh, we're gonna knock out this, 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 this. Hail. Hail? Hail? Re really? Oh. Ugh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Shroomish is going to Mega Drain again. Pines. Pines, please. Oh, no. Pines, I did not just lose you in the beginning of this. Oh. Okay. Well, now I need to get out of this hail because I'm being buffeted, which isn't cool. Why are you deciding to be an ice type? Um. Dang, man. This is not good. This is not good. I feel like bringing out the sun. But now that this water type is here, that's. Alright. Let's bring out Flash. Let's bring out Flash! Bubble Beam! Oof. Cast form. Use Rain Dance. Guess from why? Stun Spo- uh, 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 Cast from- What? What do you gain, my dude? What do you gain from any of this? Ugh. Dang it, man. And now you're seated, too. Uh, I really hope that this cast form is not all that she has, because if it is, she has... Dawn has just made this battle way harder than it had to be. Oh, my gosh. Parish Song! What is wrong with you, Polytoad? Powder... 
Can you just, like, freeze one of them since you are deciding to do this ridiculousness? Oh, my gosh. This cast form, man. All right, so Parasong, we have two turns left before we all end up dying. And that's not going to be okay. But that Shroomish is going to die no matter what. So I'm going to Thundershot the Politoed and kill it, and then I'm going to just get out of here, because screw Parasong. That's not happening. No. God dang it. Please just... Thank you. <sighs> okay, Politoed's gone. They don't have another Pokemon, do they? Cactar Group, nice. Pin Missile? Um, I mean, I guess you don't need Sand Attack, really. Or Growth, for that matter, but we can get rid of that next. Oh, Honchcrow! All right. Do the good things. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Enough of this rain business. I don't want to weaken my fire type moves at all. So I'm gonna bring out the sun. That wing attack. Better do some dang good damage. That's right! Because you have a haunch crow. I mean, come on, haunch crow is strong. Good. Alright, what what else you got? You got a Murkrow. That Murkrow is about to be a goner. Really? Go, go. Swagger! Why would you even bother? Why would you even bother? Just take it out! Just ugh, done. Come on! Enough of this! Enough of this! This battle is over. Done it by two kids. This is right! Should have kept my head down and just watched the warehouse. No, oh, that stinks. Our Pokemon are chumps. We should get new ones from headquarters. <laughs> Who cares about some Pokedex anyway? Team Galactic is going to own all the Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. There, take it. Take your stupid Pokedex. Those things we had in the warehouses. Those things we had in the warehouse have already been moved to Pastoria City anyway. So we'll say you'll get yours and lend like the grunts we are. <laughs> What's going on? Why is Team Galactic out in the streets like they own the place? Lee, thank you, sincerely. I would have been lost without my Pokedex. It's indispensable for helping Professor Rowan with his studies. So, Lee, what are you going to do now? I'm thinking of going to Pokemon Mansion on Route 212. I heard they show rare Pokemon to visitors there. Looker! Have no fear! I've come running! I heard of children feuding with the Team Galactic! It turns out, of course, to be you. Oh, it's that funny man from Jubilife. You insult me to my face? <laughs> How very uncouth of you! Uh, I'm terribly sorry. Team Galactic took my Pokedex, so I was very irritated. I just blurted it out. I should be going now. Uh, be wary of Team Galactic. Ha! Huh. <laughs> it is of no matter. Of more interest is the criminal behavior of the Team Galactic. They attempt to steal the belongings of a child? The scale of their criminality, it seems rather minuscule. The triviality of their actions makes them more sinister, perhaps. Their warehouse needs investigation. Come with me. We'll take a look. Okay. I'm going to ride my bike into that warehouse. Items everywhere. Hmm, a key is necessary for us to go on. For the time being, we cannot give chase to those who ran away. Oh, what'd you find? Ah, this hidden machine. It is the hidden move of fly. Lee, this you should be keeping. It will not do to leave this item here to be used by the Team Galactic. So, we did not learn very much from this exercise. No matter... What concerns me is what I have overheard in the game corner. The Team Galactic has transported something to Pistoria City. What they are up to, I do not know, but I have bad feelings about it. Okay, I'm gonna grab Fly then. I... None of my team members can use Fly. Which is kind of a bummer. Um, Alright, so wait, hold on. Can we... Can we get 
that other item by going through like the headquarters like before we head to Pastoria? Should we take care of some business? Should we take care of this business? Let's take care of some business. Let's go see if we can get into their headquarters. Hey there. Hey there. We will eliminate everything that is not needed. Team Galactic Policy conducts R&D around the clock here. We focus on the development of new energy resources. If you're too young for us, you can join on your altar. All right, so we need a key. Yeah, we need a key. All right, so because we need a key, I guess we got to move on to Pastoria City, which is fine with me. New routes, new encounters, and Pastoria City, and potentially we'll get someone that knows Fly that we want to swap out one of our team members for, although I don't know who I'm going to swap out for. Are you going to take Route 214? You're serious, aren't you? It's too badly chewed up and there's nothing to see there. Well, I guess there's that ruined maniac guy you should check out. That guy's been digging his way through the bedrock all by himself. Oh, so 214 is not the way to go. Alright, so hold on. Apparently this is not the way to go. I'm going to do it anyway, though. For now. Oh, wait a second. What am I, crazy? I need to heal. I almost walked straight into that battle. Alright. Alright. We'll do Route 214 later, then. Um, first things first. Heal. 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 Let's go. Heal our Pokemon. Go, 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 go. Okay. So we'll heal up. Heal up our Pokes. Come on. Thank you for waiting. You're welcome, bruh. Um. Alright, so. If that was to Route 214. Where's Route 212? I'm gonna get on the bike again. Okay, so that's Route 214. But we wanna go to Route 212 to go to Pastoria City, but the only other way to leave is the way that we came in. Is this Route 212 the whole time? No, this is 215. What? Oh, we're supposed to fly. Of course. Of course. They want us to fly. <laughs> I'm being such a dummy. All right, so yeah, they want us to fly, which means I have to swap out a party member for someone that can learn fly. And I think, I think Cogsworth is the only one. Cogsworth, I believe you're the only one that can learn fly here. So guess what? You get to swap out again. And we're gonna, I don't know who we're gonna swap out. We'll just swap out Flash just because. We'll be back for you, Flash. Don't worry. I'm not going to leave you in here. Um, Alright, so bag fly use Cogsworth. Uh, yeah, you don't need uproar. You need fly. Okay, cool. Now that you know fly, we need to head to Route 212. Which, where is Route 212? That's the real question here. That's Route 215. That's 210. That's 211. That's also 211. 206. 208. That's Route 212. So that must be Pastoria City. All right, so we got to fly back to Heart Home. That's where we're going. We're going back to Heart Home City. All right. Back to Heart Home. And now that we're back to hard home, Cogsworth, you get to swap out. You get to swap out straight back to Flash because Flash ain't going nowhere. Okay, Flash, swap. Good stuff. Stay here, Cogsworth. You are our trusty flyer. Um, so Route 212, we've already gotten encounter on Route 212 pretty sure unless we were never allowed to go that way before was that the way that we weren't allowed to go before i think maybe i think maybe that's what's happening i think so i think it was down here that goes to route 212 and we were being blocked by these people 
Wait, why are we still being blocked by these people? What? Is this not the way to Route 212? I thought it was. I thought it was. That's... That's 209 to Solosian Town. What is... Yeah, Route 212! What?! Why are they still blocking it? What? I don't understand. Is there another way? Do we, wait, do we have a town map in the bag? No, this is the only way to Route 212. Unless... Unless we take Route 214 down to the Valor Lake front. <sighs> of course! So everything that I thought was wrong. Why did they give us Fly then if they didn't want us to use Fly? I'm so confused now. All right, that's fine. I guess we need Cogsworth again though. Ugh. Cogsworth, get over here. Don't worry, Cactuar will like, seriously be right back for you. <sighs> Dang it, man. <laughs> So apparently we were supposed to go down to Route 214, which is a new route anyway, so we get an encounter, but like, my gordness. They tell us we gotta go to Route 212, and they give us Fly, but they don't want us to use Fly, they just want to give it to us. So that we can use it if we feel like it, I guess. I, I guess. I guess that's how it's gonna be. Which is... Which is fine, it's okay, we're doing great. Anyway. Let's go. All right, now that we know that we were going the right direction to begin with, let's go. We got this, let's fight. There, behind you, what, what's behind me? Me, I'm, am I behind me, Who? who's, Who's behind me, Swimmer Rachel? That's a... That's a quagsire. Level 23. Cactuar, can you actually take care of this? I mean, you're level 21. How much does this mudshot do? Too much! What the crap? Why are you getting crits out here? Come on now, Quagsire. I'm trying to train a Pokemon. But I think Cactuar is still our best shot, so. Mud Bomb. Those are hurting way too much. Absorb. Dang, man. Whoa. I swear, if this does nothing, then I just have to swap. No. All right. Awesome, man. Slam! Cactuar. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so, Cactuar was prepared for it, but, like, that was scary. Um. Yeah. Pincer. Mm-mm. We're swapping out if it's a pincer. Uh, Blaze. Blaze! Blaze! You get to take care of this. Although, Blaze, can you please learn another fire move? Like, I don't understand. You're level 26, and the only fire move you've learned is Ember. Please tell me that you learned another fire move. I mean, I guess he's not technically the level that he would be, like, as a Blaziken. But, like, still, how long did it take Combuskin to learn something? Really? Still nothing? Dang, dude. Dang, dude. <laughs> like, 
That's crazy. That's, like, that's nuts to me. That, that level 27. And he still has not learned another fire type move. My plan of spooky didn't go over so well. Oh, well, of course it didn't. You think you could scare me? Come on now. I get easily scared, but not by you. By scary things. Scary things are scary. And I am very easily scared by scary things. Which is why you will probably not see me play many scary games. Question of the day. Do you like scares? I don't like scares at all. So, there's your, there's the question. Question is if you like to be scared. All right, so let's get these two encounters. This encounter is a Route 214. Ooh. Why not's kind of terrifying. I'm actually really scared of this thing. Because I don't want to attack it. Because I feel like it'll counter me. Can I just catch it? No. Okay. That's fine. Safeguard. Sure. You can't be status. I don't. I don't mind about that. I just. I need. I need you. Why not? To just like no hits. Just be caught. Okay. Um. Why not? I really need you to do this for me, buddy. You're terrifying. And I don't want anyone to die to you. No. Um, you're gonna make me attack you. Oh, I'm... I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, crap, wait! Faint attack is... That's not... Oh, God, is it gonna kill? Oh, no. Oh, I am so lucky that he did not use counter because I or she did not use counter because I probably would have been dead. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay. We caught the why not. The bright Pokemon. It grows strong by pushing up against other Hunnas. <laughs> it loves eating sweet fruit. Grow strong by pushing up against others and mass, huh? You just like run up to them and push them. Um, we're gonna call you Dolly. That's what we're gonna call you. Your name is Dolly. Why is your name Dolly? Don't ask me, because I have no idea why your name is Dolly. But it is. It is in fact Dolly. All right, so we have another encounter to get. The Ruin Maniac Cave Encounter. Ooh, dive! That's nice. I could I could use that. Hello, Ruin Maniac. Everyone calls me the Ruin Maniac. I don't care what they call me. I'll just keep on chipping away at the rock wall little by little. Do you know why? I'm a Ruin Maniac who's fascinated by the unknown. I know it's a little sudden, but how about you and me have a race? You go and catch the unknown, and I'll keep digging away. We'll have a race to see who can get done faster. Do we run into anything in the cave? Or do we have to go to the other, like, actual cave to get the encounter? Uh, oh, okay, so Ruin Maniac Cave Encounter is... A Krabby. <laughs> it's a Krabby. Okay. A Krabby it will be. Um, I am okay with it being a Krabby. Uh, what do I want to hit this Krabby with? Oof. I feel like I'm gonna... I, I feel like I'm gonna kill it. But I kind of want to just send Ariel in to wall it. Because I'm pretty sure it can't really do anything to Ariel. Hello, Ariel. Bubble Beam! Eating it up! Yummy breakfast! You're holding a left... Oh, you have a sticky barb. I was like, you're holding a leftovers? Huh? Okay, how about Aurora Beam? You resist it. Ooh, okay. Wow, for not being very effective, that was more effective than I wanted it to be. And it's gonna hurt itself with the sticky barb again. Oh, this is... Oh, this is all or nothing, isn't it? You're gonna kill yourself with a sticky barb if this great ball doesn't catch you. Come on. Come on. Come on! 
Yeah, Krabby was a coward. The river crab Pokemon. It lives in burrows dug on sandy beaches. Its pincers fully grow back if they are broken in battle. Give a nickname to God Krabby. Yes, we're going to call the God Krabby. Uh, call the God Krabby. I don't know. Kirk. Yes, we're going to call the God Krabby Kirk. That is what we are going to call the God Krabby. And the reason is because alliteration, that's why. All right, so Kirk the Krabby. Um, all right, so we got that encounter. And I think we might actually, because this is, this is technically what? Ruin Maniac Cave. So potentially, if this other side is not Ruin Maniac Cave and instead like Unknown Cave or something like that, <gasps> a shiny stone. There is another item over there, actually, and I kind of want it, but I'll grab it later. Alright, so first we'll fight this dude. That's okay. Aha! I found me a trainer! I challenge you to battle! The Pokemon I found! Alright, cool. We'll fight. <laughs> swimmer Kimberly. I feel like we've met, like, three Swimmer Kimberlies. This is a Blissey. I'm gonna low kick the Blissey. I'm going to low-kick the Blissey, and it's going to do enough to kill it in one shot, but holy moly, that thing had a lot of health. Did you see how slow that thing fell? Also, awesome. Uh, Tangro with Blaze, 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 Blaze. Blaze, Blaze. 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 Ember. Seriously, Blaze, though. Like, learn a new fire move, man. Trying to poison us? No, no, no. Not today. <laughs> we got you. We got you, Tangrowth. We got you. We got you on the right eye. It's a challenge trying to win with Pokemon with... <sighs> okay. What were you saying? Nothing. Is there a cave here? Or am I just dreaming? Ugh. Alright, so it turns out this might be a bit longer of a route than I thought. So here's what we are going to do. We're going to save. We are going to save and we're going to end this off for today. So, if you like the video, leave it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And as always... I'll see you next time.